Welcome to my apartment. It has been a hot minute since we've done an apartment tour and I have decorated and organized so many more spaces. So I thought it'd be fun to give a little update and re-show you around. Some apartment details so you can kind of get an idea of how much I'm paying, where I'm living, etc. because a New York City apartment is going to be a lot different than this one. So I am in Southern Wisconsin. I'm in a two bedroom, two bath apartment. I pay $1,500 in rent, actually technically 1550 because I pay $50 extra for a fireplace, which I went back and forth on this so much and I'm so glad that I actually did because we're in Wisconsin and it's cold as balls here. So that is some details. The reason that I chose this specific apartment, I'm actually in a new apartment complex. So there's a lot of different variations that I could have chosen from just a layout standpoint. And I chose this one because there's so many closets, like the amount of closets in this apartment is unreal and unheard of. You'll see in a second, it's, amazing and the best thing ever. So that's just to give you a little clarity before we walk through on what you can get in Wisconsin. So my apartment has a front door area and then there's a long line of stairs coming up, which is a little nice because I can like decorate a front door area where a traditional apartment, there's like the hallway. So I do like it, but there's not like necessarily an entryway. So at the top of the stairs, I had like a foot to work with to make it a cute little entryway since it's the first thing you see in the apartment. And I wanted to do it very affordably. <laughs> affordably is that a word? So this table is from Target. This is from At Home and this is from At Home too. I love At Home faces. We DIY this. There's a video on it. It was so easy and really, really affordable. I'm obsessed with it. I love the texture. Mirror is from Target. I just have the mirror leaning up against this. I actually use, there's like a few places in my apartment where I actually nailed something into the wall. So I'll figure that out when I sell, or not sell the place when I my like lease is up. This is one of them. I just didn't want this crashing over. I actually had that happen where it crashed over. So that was like so sad because everything on here broke. So monkey hooks, if you have an apartment, get monkey hooks. They leave like the smallest holes and they're so so easy to use like i said before this is just leaning up against it these two frames are just from target they're like ten dollars each super affordable this print i change out based on the seasons and we actually have this one this is like the summer version this is available for free on the website so by sophialee.com we'll have the link to that in the description but i think my favorite one was christmas there's like just so many good ones I'll put them in there. But then this is my Goodwill hack for books and just like this little setup. So this is what you first see when you walk into the apartment. This goes to this hallway. This bathroom is the guest bathroom. So I love it because we have the two bathrooms. And so this is what like Shelby uses. This is what guests use. And I really tried to make it look cute. The lighting in here, Sarah and I were just joking that it is the worst lighting in the entire world. Like Sarah, Sarah's like, I actually never look uglier than in this bathroom, which is true. But this was like tried to be done also a very affordably. You'll kind of see a theme of that. I should just stop saying it. Above the toilet, I find it so hard to decorate above a toilet because I think shelves, like the two shelves are just so basic and so i wasn't really sure what else to do so i just hung two frames this frame is from target and then this image is from bff print shop i love bff print shop they have super affordable really cool art that you can download and then just print out yourself this is from goodwill that i also gold rub them off that's another thing you'll see throughout my apartment and like my favorite picture ever of my sisters I just have a cute little candle on top of here. This does get like super dusty though. This curtain rod is from Target. I, it's from the Hearth and Home collection, Joanna Gaines. Shower curtains can be really, really ugly and she just has good ones. Um, this basket is also another Target one. I just have filled it up with toilet paper 
which I really like because this is the guest bathroom. So then like guests, if they're here and the toilet paper roll is done, they don't have to be like, where's the toilet paper? And so that is cute. And just right there, these gold hooks are from Target as well. Brought to you by Target, just kidding, but I wish. Um, these towels are Lumia, which is like my favorite, favorite company. They're a small business out of Raleigh, North Carolina, I believe. I ordered these from Etsy. They are like the nicest human beings on the planet. They wrote me a handwritten note. Now we're like friends. So I really like them. This shelf is also from Target. Another extra thing that I did was I didn't like the shade of wood that it was. So I like tried to restain it. It was kind of unsuccessful, but it's better. It was like just too orange. Another BFF print shop prints, Target frame, Goodwill frame. These amber interiors has very similar ones of these for like $250. This was $2 or this was $4 and $2.99 from at, oof, from at home. So right off of this hallway, that's like the entryway, closet, bathroom is, it opens up and it becomes the kitchen in the living room. I love the layout of it, like just to have this open for when friends come over, when I'm cooking, like watching TV in here, I just love it. So this area, like, I actually haven't really like decorated this area. It's kind of just evolved. I would like to like kind of decorate it more. But on this island, I always decorate this. Um, I just like, this is from Home Goods. This is from Hobby Lobby. These salt and pepper canister things. I get asked about all the time. These are from At Home. At Home has like really good stuff actually. I'm doing a hydrangea <laughs> experiment to see if you put a lump powder on them if they last longer, but this like changes based on the season. Like at Christmas, I have this more Christmas theme. I try to like decorate the back of this. There is some issues that we have learned with this decoration is that anytime we use the actual oven, which is really not that much, so it's not too annoying, we have to take these down because the heat comes up from the back. So there was like almost a moment where I burnt down this entire apartment which is not good, obviously. Um, I have just all of these random utensils. This um, pot holder, like I hate one, or silverware holder, I hate ones that have words on them or look like too rustic. And so this one I love, and it was actually a plant holder from Target, which is kind of cool. We have just like veggies and onions and lemons and stuff in here. This is like my not so cute wall, but it makes it feel more like a home. And it's just all of my like invitations, <laughs> like Christmas cards, graduation invites, etc. This is a real life look at what the pantry looks like on a normal day, because I have not touched it at all um, or like spruced it up for this video. So I am so obsessed with this. This organization, like you know how sometimes you organize it and you're like, that is so unrealistic and just not practical. Like this has worked out unbelievably well for us. Um, and the key honestly is using like widespread labels, like names for the labels. So these baskets are from container store for $5 each, which is super affordable. Ikea has them for $4, like literally the same exact basket. So if you have an Ikea near you, that's a great option. Um, and then, I don't know, we just have random stuff in here, but I, I just love, I love opening it. It's pretty for a pantry. So this wall, this is a new, newer project that we just did, but this wall was just completely blank. And for a really long time, I was like, I don't know what to do with this. Do we just leave it? And then I was like, a bar cart would be so cool in here. So this mirror is like one of my favorite things in this apartment. And I waited for it to be like five months on back order. It's from Urban Outfitters. It is $499. And that's gonna seem expensive unless you are looking for an arch mirror like this. That is like insanely cheap. The other ones that are on the internet that are this size, because a lot of the times they're skinnier and like not as tall, are like $1,500. So that's why I waited so long for this to be delivered. I love it. This bar cart is from Amazon. It was like $95. And then I will rub and buffed this, which I don't know how I feel. It was wood before. I might have should have left it, but it was like the redwood, like the cabinets, and I was just over it. This is another print that is free on the website. Sarah like killed these bar cart prints. You have to see them, they're so, so good. So I just printed that out. Um, this was from Goodwill. We have two bar cart books. 
Target, Crate and Barrel, I believe. The wine glasses were a splurge item of mine that I debated for like a hot second if I buy those. Um, but I do like them, except I never use them because I have other wine glasses, so they're kind of just for like, I don't know, show, which is stupid, but. Um, West Elm, another one of Sarah's bar cart prints, so good. And then this is like a toothbrush holder from Target. I love this area, I just think it looks really, really cute. This is the fireplace that I paid $50 a month on, and I'm so happy that I do it, because I use it even in the summer, because we have air conditioning, and I use it like all the time. It just makes it feel so cozy in here. So a little story about this. This couch, which I'll talk about in a little bit, was only available in right facing. So like, it's like a L-shaped couch. And so there was just like this couch backing and I was like, oh, I can't, it's just ugly. How can I decorate this and make this a cute little area? And so this is from Home Depot and it was super affordable. And Ben and I actually stained it black um, another thing that's like really dusty, maybe this video is teaching me that I need to dust a lot more. But um, we stained it black and then we changed out these knobs. I just got those from Etsy. And then these baskets are from Target. These baskets, I throw so much shit in them. It's like the best. I love having them here. This is just another thing like thrown together, but I actually kind of like how it looks. This is from Target, from the Studio McGee collection. I wanna say like home goods for both of those. Home goods, Target. The living room. The living room is probably my favorite area in the entire apartment. We spend for sure the most amount of time in here and in the kitchen. So I guess I'll start with the gallery wall. This was done so cheaply, but it looks really, really good. So those picture lights, are from Ikea for $20 and I used gold rub and buff to make them gold. They were silver before. And then those picture frames are from Michaels. If I had to do this over again, I would not buy these because I don't like how thick the like frame edges. I'd do with thinner ones, but they were $6 each, which is just like so cheap. I like that. And then I just got the pictures printed in black and white. This I completely DIY'd with the help of my boyfriend's dad. I would probably not have been able to do this myself, but I just got a canvas um, from Michaels. I textured it up, did like this whole pattern, which does look a little bit like a, you know, male, male part. Um, and then I made the fridge, or the fridge, I made the frame out of like molding and we like cut it on a diagonal. It was a disaster. It wasn't a disaster actually at all. It just was like painful to do. So if you were to do this again, do it like how I did it in the video where I talk about how to make these because I felt like figured out such an easier way to do it. And then the same thing with like that light is obviously from Ikea too. This couch is the best. So I searched for so long, like for hours before I moved into my apartment for a couch that was like, that I liked because I don't like a lot of couches. Um, and I had a few requirements is that I wanted it to be like two owl shapes. I don't know what you would call it, but like two things coming out of it because I wanted to have a lot of friends over. And then also like I like to like extend out when I'm like watching TV and stuff. It's from Ashley's and it was like $1,500, which for a couch this size is awesome. It is so comfortable, probably one of our best purchases that we've ever made. The pillows are from all over the place. I have a whole video talking about like pillows and the different sizes, so you can go see that. But this is from Target, um, Woven Nook, Etsy, The Collective Co or something. I don't exactly remember. Um, Etsy and then Target as well. This um, coffee table is for i think i got it it was sold a few different places i think i ended up buying it on overstock it doesn't exist anymore which is so sad but it was like 350 dollars, which was expensive because other coffee tables i was looking at was like 99 but i loved it i love the gold detailing at the bottom the natural wood it's sold out it's like literal it's not even sold out it's like dead and then i just have this styled on top world market target this is my favorite candle brand from Home Goods, Sensationals. I also like like Sand and Ash, I think it is. Um, and then these beads are just from a local boutique. 
Target, and then coffee table books. These, if you're looking for fake flowers, this is like so random, but magnolia.com, like Joanna Gaines' actual store, they have an online one. Their faux flowers are the best I've ever seen. Like these feel so real, it's unreal, and it feels so real, it's unreal. Okay, that was a little ridiculous, but um, I really like them. The carpet is, the both of them are from Rugs USA. Another thing that's been here for a year and a half and has held up really, really well. So next to the fireplace, we had about four feet to work with. And so I put a bench here because I wanted a bench that if we had like a ton of friends over, we could move this over and they could sit on that as well. So then we're like in a whole circle around the couch. Um, and I just think it looks really cute. So the bench was from Overstock. I have two baskets underneath it from Target. These baskets store all of our games, which is kind of fun. Um, this pillow is from Woven Nook. My mom made this one, but you can buy like an animal pillow kind of like anywhere. Um, and then this mirror is, I want to say 34 inch mirror from Target. And that's, that's this little corner, but it's probably one of my favorite little corners in the house. I don't know how many corners there are in the house, but I really like it. Okay, out here is my patio. So this patio is definitely not big enough for this table, like at all, but there's no room inside for a table and we eat out here and spend so much time out here during like the summer that I wanted to be able to have a table out here. So we kind of just work with it. I ended up getting this table from World Market. We love it. Um, these chairs are from Target. I got them in a set to save money. This is from Target. These are from Home Goods. And then we have these string lights, which we just use outdoor command hooks and it works perfect. It's like so nice to be out here at night. Being out here is like, I don't know, we love it. We do so much out here. This is the latest organization slash decorating project I've done in here. I wish I did this sooner. It is like, besides the lighting in here, which sucks, but it is so, just so much cuter than it was before. So um, this is the laundry room, which is another thing that I'm so grateful to have because I know so many apartments don't have it and it's big. Um, so we have this area, like that's just a cute little part of it. I didn't want to do too much in here because I'm moving out of here in like a year and so it just seemed like a waste of money to me to like change these shelves out or whatever. Um, this is container store and then these, this white container is the same one that I use in the pantry. I use these white containers like all throughout my apartment. They are so nice and just, I don't know, cheap. This is Target that is from a thrift store and then these prints are from Etsy. We have a whole video that shows like where everything's from with exact links to it. And then this closet is, might love it more than the pantry. This is the decor closet. It is so pretty, I think, for like a closet. And these are the um, containers or containers. I wanted a white shelf, not like a stainless steel one. That's my high maintenance ways, just because I thought it would look a lot better than like a stainless steel one. Um, and so I just had this organized. This is like, like I said, the decor closet. Love it. And then we just have one more closet over here. This is what I mean by all the closets. It's so, so nice. Um, this is my cleaning closet. So I just use command strip hooks to hang up these like different cleaning, like Swiffer and stuff. Um, and then that's where I keep all of the cleaning stuff. I have candles in here. We have the uh, a medicine um, turntable thing, extra toilet paper. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's just all of the cleaning supplies. And lastly, we have my bedroom. So um, there's this like little wall right here that we did. It's like a shrine of Ben, which is kind of embarrassing. I feel like a real married couple, but these are from Target. I cut these mats to look like more custom so that they're like, you know, wider right here. And then I'm trying to think what to show you first. So this is the bedroom area, obviously. This rug, okay, here's my, honestly, this is why it's like rolled up like this, is Sarah and I, when this bed was already like fully here, 
try to lift the bed ourselves and like are just physically not strong enough so this rug is like really shoved down here i think that if we had like i actually know that if we had a um rug pad and then put this on actually flat that it wouldn't be rolling up like this but it does drive me insane but this rug is from rugs usa um this bed okay i have a love hate with this bed if i was to buy this bed again i wouldn't because i think it's kind of ugly and just outdated but i bought this when i was buying all the rest of my apartment stuff which is like so much money you know if you're buying stuff for an apartment or have it adds up so fast this whole bed which is like huge i mean you can see how tall that headboard is was three hundred dollars which is like just so cheap and so i bought it i thought it i just i don't know i'm kind of over the tufting like this look i feel like everyone and their mother has this bed but i was i'm young so it doesn't it's fine i don't need like my dream bed um and then i just styled it we have a whole video on how to make your bed look like a hotel bed it's actually like one of our most popular videos so you can watch that as well this bench is from i think it's like a wayfair or overstock this is actually a changing table for a baby that i got from walmart i like the oversized nightstand look i just think it looks a lot more expensive i styled these nightstands we have a video for that too um and then that's like Ben's side. He doesn't live here. So his mom is watching this. He doesn't sleep in here either. Mm -hmm. But this is like Ben's side of the bed. And um, it's just styled similar. Okay, so if you turn around right here, we have the TV. This is from Home Goods. I got this when I was in high school. It was on clearance. It used to be silver and I just spray painted it gold. This tree is from Nearly Natural. Um, I actually like it a lot. And it's fake, obviously, if you can't tell. But I, I think it doesn't look as fake versus some other ones. These curtains, I needed um, blackout curtain. I didn't need them, but I wanted blackout curtains because I cannot sleep with any light. So these are from Amazon. They're blackout, obviously. They're velvet. Um, they're a little more of like a messy look in a way because it's not like, you know, pleated. So it's not like perfect like that but I really actually do like them. And then the gold curtain rod and the gold curtain hook things are from Target. This is another real life moment. This closet is not organized and not clean, but it is big and I clearly need to get rid of clothes. Um, Sarah, I need you to help me go through and get rid of all my ugly stuff. But I love this space in here. This is another thing like when Ben moves in, He's not taking this closet because it's already overstuffed, but I, I love it. I'm really, another thing I'm grateful for, just having a big closet to put my clothes. So that was my first apartment tour. I hope it was fun to see and watch. I literally dreamed of having my first apartment for so long. And so to have it and have it decorated the way I like it, I'm just so grateful for. And it's like, it's home so I hope you enjoyed it we have so many videos on like decorating how I made this apartment look a lot more expensive than it was and like how to decorate on a budget we have organization tips cleaning tips on my Instagram by sophialee.com obviously subscribe to the channel but I will see you on the next video